Donald Trump to McDonald's workers in East Palestine, Ohio. I know this menu better than you do. I know it probably better than anyone in here. So I know this menu better than you do. Okay? I probably know it better than anybody in here. Uh, what God, he's so awesome. What a fucking legend, dude. No one has ever been as back in the history of being back as Donald motherfucking Trump right in this very moment. Oh my fucking god he is so back he's like dancing right now he he's like getting in the groove every single interaction that he has he's like remembering what made him the fucking goat of this sort of uh of this sort of social conversation he's so serious trump brought in the ohio big boys for his conference oh my god beefy ass l for the biden administration like literally having toxic chemical clouds visible from fucking pennsylvania that are coming out of ohio making this like through independent media and through social media making this like the top news story domestically never really fully addressing it and never even like showing face and then having a speech in ukraine and then in poland while trump is in ohio i mean are you trying to lose? Is that what's going on? Because you're doing a great job. I mean, this is Democrats just running against themselves, okay? Like, do I think Trump gives a shit about Ohio? Absolutely not. I literally... Trump is directly responsible, more so than the Democratic administrations that came before it and came after with respect to deregulation. He did deregulation from top to bottom, but it doesn't fucking matter. This is something I've been talking about for a long time now. I talked about this years ago when Tucker Carlson started adorning leftist aesthetics to talk about like labor rights when in fact, all he cares about is not socialism or, or improving the material conditions of workers. But if the Democrats don't fill that void, someone will. And when they fill that void, they will fill it with a whole bunch of bullshit. They will fill it for nefarious reasons. No voter in Ohio cares that Trump causes. We will care that Biden never showed up. Him and DeWine, both are absolutely just boshed Ohio. Yeah. I don't know how to describe this uh, other than, you know, just the Democrats doing their very best to make sure that they do not get reelected. Will this ultimately be a permanent scar? on uh pete Buttigieg's career probably will this be a permanent scar on biden's career probably not i don't know blame biden more when republicans don't want government intervention make up your fucking mind victims wait what no i blame biden for doing bad policy and bad politics republicans do bad policy but also do good politics this is a moment where the republicans who have done bad policy are doing good politics to hide the bad policy that they've done and literally shift the blame over to the democrats who ostensibly are supposed to be on the better side of policy even though usually they're not but are doing such dog shit abysmal politics that it doesn't fucking matter trump speaking at a hilton in palm beach criticized biden for going to ukraine but not ohio you might recall that trump was impeached for trying to extort the Ukrainian government. No one cares about this. Like the funniest part about that entire story is that Trump literally was like, yeah, we'll keep giving you arms as they did, okay? But just like, you know, you got to find dirt which is definitely an impeachable offense. That was a violation for sure, right? But you can't cover a Trump W like this when he's literally right, okay? When he's completely correct and it looks awful from the perspective of average Americans when you're doing politics. He meant NATO, not just Ukraine. Yeah, good luck. Good luck, Globeheads. Explain that to like uh, dudes living in fucking Pennsylvania and Ohio. Even, I don't even agree with it too. Like I, I don't even agree with that uh, attitude anyway. Uh, sorry, you silly, pathetic loser. Losers, you don't understand he met with nato and that's really important like the fuck are you talking about there was a time and place when like you know there were liberals in the democratic party who talked about how military spending was absolute bananas and that uh we need to do something about it to make sure that we help our citizens instead of continue bloodshed overseas that's long gone post 9 11 there is none of that okay it's crazy Look, done in two years. Nobody's ever seen anything like it. And even now you have a president going to Ukraine and you have people in Ohio that are in desperate need of help. And I was very proud to say that I announced I was going to Ohio. You know, FEMA said we're not going to give them anything. The Biden administration said we're not going to give them anything. And then I announced I'm going. Please sit down. Look at that. Look, a kernel of truth and a whole bunch of lies wrapped up around it, but it doesn't matter because the kernel of truth is there. He went to Ohio, Biden went to Kiev, okay? The lies are FEMA didn't want to give anything to fucking Ohio. That's a lie. That was directed by Mike DeWine, the governor. The Republican governor of Ohio was the one who did not, who denied the actual fucking help from the government. But hey, 
You get to dominate the narrative like this. If you can just openly state this shit, you get to dominate the narrative. You can be literally the guy who not only advocates for DeWine, you can be the guy who advocates for deregulation and successfully gets deregulation. You know what I mean? Reversing an Obama era decision, for example, that deregulated the railroads as we talked about as the railroad companies as we talked about. And you can still get to make this argument and most people will believe you because you're there. You went there. They successfully caused the problem and then turned around, Republicans, I mean, they successfully caused the problem. Democrats are not infallible in this either. But if you're looking at it strictly from a Republican perspective, they caused the problem almost directly. Their ideology is directly responsible for this, deregulation is. Then they turned around... <laughs> and shifted it to a culture war narrative. They slided the fucking conversation away from deregulation to a culture war narrative. These are white people in Ohio. These are hardworking, white working class people that have been left behind by the bi-coastal elitist Democrats. And meanwhile, the Democrats are doing nothing to combat it. It's not that the Republicans are exceptional at uh, reframing narratives. I mean, they're pretty good because they want to win and they don't have a, a lot of support and their ideas suck. So they have to do everything they can to win and they're going to play dirty. But Democrats, on the other hand, don't want to win. They want, they love the situation that they're currently in where they have like no real meaningful control so that they could just throw their hands up in the air and say, oh, fuck, we can't do anything about it. Trump would have never visited a blue state is also not right. He actually went to California when the wildfires were happening. And remember, he was talking about how like, you got to sweep the... You got to sweep the floors. So that's so dumb. That's not the case. He definitely will go to blue states and shit. Why? Because he wants to win, motherfucker. That's the difference. <laughs> Why would Dems want to win? They benefit from Republican policies. They benefit from their position as champions of the moral high ground. It's a win-win to lose. Yeah. Right now, you can very easily hit so many different angles on how the Biden administration fucked up. They broke the strikes that the railroad workers were pushing for. They offered them none of the things that they asked for. They strong-armed the labor unions in that regard. And then like a month later, a, a massive derailment occurred that has now created a new cancer cluster in Ohio. Then they didn't even fucking turn around and like say anything about it until, you know, it became national news because everyone on TikTok was freaking out about it because it was like a, it wasn't the invisible kind of uh, pollutant that destroys your body every day. It's not the microplastics that we're consuming. It was visible. So it was more tangible. It was more identifiable and people understandably freaked the fuck out about it. And then even then they basically just tweeted about it and didn't do anything. And Republicans will always take advantage of a PR opportunity. They will never let a crisis go to waste. I also want to recognize a man who has been working tirelessly for this community since the beginning of the nightmare. And uh, Trent, where is Trent? He's very easy to find. Huh? Huh. Oh, my God. Yes, dude. Yes, he's very easy to find. He's bulbous. He's such a big boy. I love my big boys. You love to see it, folks. No little boys here. Only big ones.